Today's picks and videos are brought thanks to Ivan the Terrier. Nicknamed the American Gentleman, they are one of the few truly all-American breeds and are often referred to as the National Dog of the United States. The Boston Terrier breed originated around 1875, when Robert Hooper of Boston purchased from Edward Burnett a dog named Judge, which was of a bull and terrier-type lineage. Yes. Surprisingly, the friendly and playful Boston Terrier is a descendant of dogs that were originally bred for pit fighting and other blood sports, popular in 19th century England. Judge was a muscular, tough, but fairly small dog, weighing in at around 30 pounds, 15 kilograms. He was bred down in size with a smaller female called Burnett's Jip. Jip was a white bulldog-type female owned by Edward Burnett of Southborough, Massachusetts. She weighed about 20 pounds, 9 kilograms, was stocky and strong, and had the typical blocky head now shown in Boston's. The little dogs with the round heads and screw tails were first known as round heads, bullet heads, or bull terriers. By 1889, the breed had become sufficiently popular in Boston that fanciers formed the American Bull Terrier Club. But since this proposed name was not well liked by Bull Terrier lovers, shortly after, the breed was named the Boston Terrier after its birthplace. The American Kennel Club recognized the breed in 1893. Since then, the Boston Terrier has become quite popular throughout the United States. It is Boston University's official mascot, as well as the official dog for the state of Massachusetts. The Boston Terrier was the first non-sporting dog breed in the U.S. In the early years, the color and markings were not very important to the breed's standard. However, by the 20th century, the breed's distinctive markings and color were written into the standard, becoming an essential feature. With their signature tuxedo coats, Boston Terriers are, no doubt, dapper dogs. But don't let their formal attire, jaunty walk, and nickname, the American Gentleman, completely fool you. These happy-go-lucky dogs are as goofy as they get. The Boston Terrier is a compactly built, well-proportioned dog. Their heads are square and rather flat on top, with erect ears and a slightly arched neck. The muzzle is short and generally wrinkle-free, with an even or a slightly undershot bite. This is a brachycephalic breed, meaning that the face is flat, with a somewhat squashed appearance. Another defining feature on Boston Terriers are their large, dark, round eyes that are set wide apart. They have broad chests, and the tail is short and straight, or a corkscrew. Bostons have a short, smooth coat. The Boston Terrier is characteristically marked with white in proportion to either black, brindle, seal, or a combination of the three. Any other color is not accepted as a Boston Terrier by the American Kennel Club. According to the latter, the Boston Terrier's markings are broken down into two categories. Required and Desired. Desired includes the required markings plus a white collar, white on the forelegs, and white up to the hocks on the rear legs. Boston Terriers have three weight categories. Under 15 pounds, 7 kilograms, 15 to under 20 pounds, 7 to 9 kilograms, and 20 to 25 pounds, 9 to 11 kilograms. While males are usually about 17 inches tall, females stand at about 16 inches tall. Bostons have good longevity ranging from 10 to 13 years. A Boston Terrier's energy level is moderate, according to the American Kennel Club. The Boston Terrier doesn't require much in the way of grooming, and is neither hard to house train nor a nuisance barker. Boston Terrier's short, shiny, smooth coats make them easier to groom than many other dogs, as they tend not to shed as much. Weekly brushing with a soft bristle brush or rubber grooming mitt is not only effective at removing loose hair, but it also promotes the health of the coat because it distributes skin oils and it encourages new hair growth. Like all dogs, they need regular nail trims. Nails that are too long can make walking uncomfortable or become prone to infection. With a nod to a major metropolis in their name, it's no surprise that Boston Terriers are suited to lap life or apartment dwelling, as well as to an active suburban existence on the go. So much so, that two brisk walks per day is considered satisfactory for the breed's exercise needs. 
Short sessions of fetch daily or walks that are moderate in length are better than long, vigorous exercise sessions. Despite their small size, Boston Terriers tend to do well in dog sports, such as flyball and agility. Keep in mind, however, that like other brachycephalic breeds, Bostons can overheat easily and should be allowed to rest when needed. Bostons also chill easily and in general should be protected from extreme cold too. They do snort and some may snore, but these are usually endearing rather than irritating qualities. Bostons also can be picky eaters. Some have a delicate digestive system and are prone to gas. But once you figure out what commercial foods they like and what agrees with them, feeding them is easy. The Boston Terrier is a dog bred to serve as a companion dog, and these well-mannered, bright, and affectionate canines are indeed wonderful four-legged friends and family dogs that have lost most of their aggressive nature, preferring the company of humans. They enjoy being around people, get along well with children, the elderly, other canines, and non-canine pets if properly socialized. Boston Terriers typically like to be around their humans as much as possible and are eager to please. They can be a great choice for a first-time dog owner who's looking for a small dog. The Boston Terrier combines enthusiasm from his terrier ancestors with the gentle sweetness and good sense of his bulldog ancestors. He also has a sly sense of humor and loves to clown around. The Boston can be happy as a couch potato or a canine athlete, Whatever you want to do, he'll be right there beside you. He's also agile and intelligent enough to do it all, from learning tricks to competing in agility, obedience, or other sports. Both females and males are generally quiet and bark only when necessary. Bostons are not great protectors. Most of them are so congenial they will welcome anyone into the house, whether friend or foe. As a breed, the Boston Terrier is more prone to certain health problems than others. Here's a brief rundown on what you should know. The corkscrew tail is associated with a condition known as hemivertebrae, a failure in the development of the bones of the spine. While some dogs may be asymptomatic, others may show signs in puppyhood, including impaired movement and a lack of coordination in the hind legs. The puppy can end up paralyzed, and surgery is often the only treatment. Boston Terriers do share one problem with the many other small breeds, a condition known as luxating patellas. There are numerous eye disorders that are known to occur in Bostons, and eye problems are one of the most reported health problems in the breed. They include cataracts, corneal ulcers, and glaucoma. A small but significant number of Bostons are deaf in one ear, and some are completely deaf. When bred, Bostons have small litters of only three or four puppies. Whelping is often difficult as the pelvis is narrow. The large-headed pups are often delivered by cesarean section. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget that each new subscriber and positive comment motivates us to create more and better content. Thanks for watching.